Today we're going to talk about something a little bit interesting. Especially it will be interesting for you because we might be talking about something that you're not really familiar with. Especially if you don't have um, like cable or satellite TV in your house and you mainly watch Netflix. You don't see a lot of TV commercials. But we're gonna start talking about TV commercials a bit. They're very interesting, and we're gonna be writing our own a little bit later in the week. To start with today, let's talk about what is in a TV commercial that makes it a TV commercial and not something different. So number one, it's on TV. And what's the purpose of it? Why did they write a TV commercial? Well, because they want you to buy something. That's the purpose of a commercial. The purpose of a novel is probably not to make you buy something. The purpose of someone writing a novel is to entertain you. The purpose of a commercial is to make you buy something. If you're entertained, great. But if you're entertained, they only care because it'll make you want to buy something. So are TV commercials long or are they short? They're short, yeah. You don't have a long attention span. They need to get your attention very quickly if they wanna to try to sell you something. So most television commercials are 30 seconds long. That's a very standard length for a commercial. And when you watch a commercial, sometimes it's funny, sometimes there's you know, silly things, silly songs that are really memorable in it. And those are all things that are designed to stick in your head, make you think about that product all the time, and then make you want to buy it. So here is your work today, and it is one of the weirdest assignments you're gonna hear me give you pretty much ever, because I'm gonna tell you to watch some TV, okay? <gasps> now, not Netflix, because Netflix doesn't have ads. So if you, can watch just TV that has commercials, that would be ideal. Uh, I have sent you a paper and it has some questions about the commercials you're watching. So you wanna watch at least a couple, you can watch many of them, and while you're watching, you're gonna answer a few questions. What kind of things did you see? What kind of things did you not see? Um, take a look at that page and yeah, go and watch a commercial. Now, if that's not easy for you, I know on my TV, we don't watch any TV that has commercials. We watch pretty much just Netflix. So if that's you, uh, what you can do is I have attached a link to a YouTube video of a commercial that you can watch and you can think about what kind of things you're noticing. Now, pay attention because we're gonna take what we're learning today and we're gonna move into later in the week and think about how can you write a commercial that makes someone want to buy something. Isn't it interesting the way that people can try to change our minds with something like a commercial? I might see a commercial for something I never even knew existed, and all of a sudden I think I need it. I didn't even know it existed 10 minutes ago. 10 minutes ago my life was just fine, and now all of a sudden I think I need this thing that I didn't even know was a thing? How silly is that? But how amazing that in 30 seconds, someone can write a commercial that makes me change my mind. It's good for us to know how to do that because it will help us be good writers, but it's also good for us to know about that so that we can be good consumers. And a consumer is someone who watches commercials and who sees advertising around the world and doesn't let it affect their choices. So it means you could watch an ad and you can say, I don't need that. I'm not gonna buy that just because someone told me I should want to buy that. And it's helpful to learn some of the tricks that advertisers might use to try to trick you into buying something. We'll talk more about that in a couple of days. For now, go watch TV.